Goalless then at full time here at Bremel Lane, but as the guys in the commentary box said, no shortage of talking points. Mark Duffy's still alongside me. Where do we start with that from a penalty that wasn't to Rebovic with pretty much the last kick of the game could have won it? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, you look on over the period of the game, we had the better chances. Um, and obviously, the Stonewall penalty. Um, if you look back at it, there's no other decision but a penalty. Um, and then obviously the chance at the end, it just probably fell to the wrong man. So many nearly ifs, buts, maybes. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from that second half then. And we'll start with an opportunity for Morgan Gibbs-White. And this came after a period of prolonged possession for, from Bournemouth. But th this is a golden chance which he'll be disappointed not to take. Yeah, you know, obviously he's got in 1v1 with the keeper and, you know, with someone with the quality of, of Gibbs White, you back him to score all day. Um, could he have potentially went round the keeper? You know, obviously it's easy saying it from up here, but he, he's hit the target, the keeper's come out and made himself big, so sometimes you've got to give the um, keeper some credit. How much, well, I was going to say, how much credit do you have to give uh, Travis for, for coming out off his line as quickly? Yeah, as definitely. He, he's come out quite quickly, narrowed the angle down, mm. and, you know, he, he's made himself really big and spread his body well. I think Gibbs White just trying to go low and hard there and trying to get it through his legs. Um, but as you say, you, you've got to give the keeper some credit. Next was an opportunity for Bournemouth, and for all the possession they had in the second half, they really didn't create much. But Lloyd Kelly hit his own crossbar in the first half. He could have found the back of the net for Bournemouth with this chance. Yeah, they've worked a short corner and um, obviously dinked it to the back post, and it just fell um, to, to Lloyd Kelly. But you know, it, that's the, the only real chance they've had in the game, and it's, it's not even a great chance to be honest it's not like one of our chances that we've had yeah and at that point you did wonder whether or not the game was just going to, to peter out into a goal of straw but the final nine or ten minutes it suddenly yeah. all came to life it, and no nothing better emphasized that than the penalty shout that sheffield united had the boys said in on commentary that every 50 50 challenge uh, resulted in a bucking this isn't even a 50 50 challenge is it no it's it's not it's it's that's unbelievable that the, the referee hasn't seen it. Um, I don't know if you can see from the other angle. Um, potentially the ref hasn't seen it clearly. That's the only real thing that I can say about it. He, he hasn't seen it clear, clear enough um, because we're looking at that now and as you see, Gibbs White's absolutely fuming with it. Um, it. It's a penalty all day long. If the ref hasn't seen that clearly, the, the referee's assistant on this near touchline had a direct line of sight and he'd given or not given big decisions all throughout that second half. He has to help him out here, doesn't he? Yeah, that, well, that's why he's there. That's what you would hope he would do. But if I'm totally honest, I don't think um, the, the official had, had, had the best of games. Um, and obviously he'll look back at that and he'll be disappointed as a referee because he's, he's missed a massive um, massive decision there. Yeah, and if you're Paul Eckenbottom as well, you're disappointed because, you know, three points in a game like this, at this stage of the yeah. season, well, again, the boys on commentary said it, you know, it could be vital when it all it's, comes It's out. crucial. It's crucial in those moments in games where it changed the season. Um, and that, that's a massive decision that the referees got wrong and there's been a couple this season where, where referees mm. have got wrong obviously um, Ollie Norwood's um, goal a few weeks ago and, and, and a massive decisions and that, that's why we always want better refereeing I know it's a tough job but you know obviously that, that, that's what they're there for is, is to get them decisions right that being said, there was still time left in the game uh, for one more opportunity and it was pretty much the last kick of the game and it was perhaps the best of the match uh, and it fell to, to the one player maybe that you wouldn't want it to fall to. Big Phil Removic, 10 yards out, goal at his mercy. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, um, your hand's done well, um, clipped it to the back post and um, Ben Davis has kept it alive there and I think he's... He, He's just trying to get a good side foot on it and just hit the tyre. I think anywhere on target it goes in, um, but it's a big opportunity. Even if it was low enough, I'm not sure it's going inside the far post. <laughs> is it, his eyes have lit up there. That's what it, yeah. Obviously, you know, not being in that position many times, mm. his eyes have probably lit up. He's thinking, I'm going to score the winner at the cop end. Um, names in lights, but it's just one of those things. Um, he's probably snatched that a little bit, but, you know, it's a big opportunity. There's no getting getting away from it. And there's no getting away from it as well. That The Blades haven't lost today. They've picked up another point. OK, they've played a game more than many around them now. But at this stage of the season, you've been in this situation. 
it's more important to have the points on the board, isn't it? If everyone else responds, then fine, fair enough, but you've got to ask the question. Yeah, definitely. The points on the board are, are, are much, much better. You know, you can look at the table and go, we've got two games in hand in them. But you've got to go to these places and win. And as we've said before, the championships are such a tough league. To go anywhere and pick points up is, is unbelievably hard. So you want the points on the board, although it's only one point a day. You keep the winning momentum going forward um, and just go to the next game because it's just about the next game now. For a few short hours at least then, it means that the Blades move up to fifth in the championship table and they've got a better goal difference than both Middlesbrough and Blackburn immediately beneath them at the moment. So we'll see what happens a little bit later this afternoon. Of course, Easter is next around the corner for Sheffield United and they're back in action this Friday, Good Friday, 3 p.m. kickoff at home to Reading. Chef uh, SUTV Live will be on air from 2 p.m. And then on Bank Holiday Monday, the 18th of April, it's a 5.30 kickoff for the trip to Bristol City. And SUTV Live will be on the air for that one from 4.30 p.m. Final thoughts, Mark, then. Disappointment that we haven't got all three points today, but you're the business end of the season now. You've collected another one. Yeah, obviously, they'll look back at that game with the opportunities that they had, and they'll think, you know, we should have probably took three points there. They will be a little bit disappointed, especially the players in there, and knowing quite mm. a few of them, they will be disappointed that they didn't take the points. But in the grand scheme of things, they'll look at it and go, well, we've played Bournemouth, we're a top team. Um, you know, we just move on to the next game. You know, that, that's all you can do. You don't want to really dwell dwell on it. You just, you know, lick your wounds, learn from your mistakes, and just, you know, go to the next game. Five left to play this season, Mark. Thanks very much for your time Cheers. this afternoon. Another point picked up for the Blades. It's on to Reading next on Good Friday, and worth bearing in mind as well. That's ten clean sheets in the last twelve games here at Bramall Lane now for Sheffield United. But until Good Friday, it's goodbye.